Uganda is a country with rich soil and abundant growth, but 95% of its people live without electricity, and what there is is often subject to cuts. This affects services, particularly the ability of hospitals to treat their patients adequately. We have a very big problem with, um, with the energy within the hospital because the electricity um, is load shedded to the hospital, meaning that we receive the, um, the electricity on alternate days. If we have it today, um, 24 hours, then we shall not have the electricity for the next 24 hours. The generator we have is not automatic, so um, there is a time lag between the power going off and the, uh, the generator being switched on. So many times you, you have to improvise uh, and use maybe a torch or something like that. It also affects business. Flowers, a strong export product, need cooling to arrive in good shape. If, if the flowers are not, uh, are not kept cold uh, immediately after coming out of the greenhouses, of course the opening stage is not the same and uh, our flowers are rejected by the market. But plans are afoot to expand the electricity grid, especially in rural areas, with new loans from the World Bank. The bank has, is supporting this by an ongoing program called Energy for Rural Transformation. Uh, this strategy calls for uh, providing access to electricity to about 10% of the population within 10 years. Biodairy in Wakizo district is already benefiting from a new supply. We used to have just a pasteurizer which was run by charcoal. We now have a cooler of 600 liters per day. So we are able to preserve our milk from the farm for one or two days until we can process it or sell it off. But full expansion will be limited unless new investment and new methods are introduced. The government and the public sector will not be able to, to inject the kind of investments that are needed. We will certainly need the private sector to come into the electrification process of Uganda. Uganda has been reliant on the Nile for water to produce electricity for more than 50 years, but the Owens Falls plant cannot meet current demand. A new plant is being built at Bujagali. Bujagali is just a little downstream of Owens Falls, and the same water will be reused through the Bujagali Dam to produce even more electricity and power Uganda. This innovative public-private sector arrangement will give Uganda electricity supply a chance to take off.